Hi everyone. Uh, I hope you care. You can hear me okay today. Uh, thank you for joining me uh, once again at uh, Link's office in Paris for this live. Uh, I'm going to share with you a lot of uh, updates we made about the the product and uh, what changed in the company and uh, you know everything that happened in the last few months. I know we were not very uh, communicative enough. I'm really sorry about that. I hope you will understand. Um, I'm going to tell you where the product is standing today and what are the change, changes you're going to, to see in the next few months. Um, so the first thing you have to know is that we made some changes about the product definition. So we changed some features in links that are not impacting the product too much, but are definitely impacting the ecosystem around us. The first thing we did about the hardware is that we modified our lens. So the lens is uh, the same uh, crazy lens we are using. So I don't know if you remember, but we have a, a crazy lens system that allows us to do pretty cool things uh, on the optical side. And we changed that lens because before that, you needed to have eye tracking enabled to use this lens. Uh, because the the eye box uh, of the lens was designed that it was too small if you didn't use the eye tracker before. So what we did is that we redesigned the lens uh, with our uh, partner in optics, and we don't need eye tracker anymore uh, in order to have the the optics to work. And looking at the cost of that feature, we ditched completely the eye tracking uh, cameras. We, we remove them from the product. Uh, we swap the cameras of eye tracking, and instead of that, we put uh, cameras at the front for hand tracking. So the hand tracking algorithm to track your hands is using the UltraLeap software. So you remember Leap, Leap Motion? We're using basically this, this software, and it's now integrated with cameras that are perfect for hand tracking. Before that, we were planning to use the 6 dof cameras to do both the 6 dof and the hand tracking, and it was not working great. So we took advantage of removing eye tracking to have a much better hand tracking system, ha hardware. And uh, I hope you will uh, appreciate that. And I have a small presentation. I will, I will show you some, some slides about that. Um, but the, the big announcement, I would say, is because we made those slight adjustments in the product, we decided to pivot from the audience we were first targeting with that with this headset. Because when we, you know, when we make demos, when we talk to people in the community, uh, we we figured that it would be good if this headset was also affordable for customers. Because if you remember, our headset was more than a thousand dollars before, uh, I mean, if, what we advertised uh, on our website, it was a thousand and five hundred dollars and it was okay for businesses, which was our main audience uh, before today. And now I'm very pleased to tell you that we made efforts to bring the cost of that down, like way down, like below a thousand dollars and way below a thousand dollars. So, we are very excited to bring links to a much broader ecosystem. So how, how did we do that? The, the, the first thing is we change, as I told you, some of the product definition and the components inside. The features are the same except, except for eye, eye tracking that is removed, but it's still a mixed reality headset. It's the best AR headset you can have. It's an amazing VR headset. It's all in one standalone compatible with OpenXR, Unity, everything we, we told you before is the same thing. Uh, we just, uh, on, on the feature side of things, eye tracking was removed. But, you know, cascading all that down to the, the bomb cost and also the licensing and the volume we could afford now, um, the, the price is going to be just a, a few hundred dollars. So yeah, I'm very excited. I'm sharing that with, with you, uh, it's not a, you know, the main announcement we're going to do this summer. I'm sharing that with, with the community today, but you will see a lot of coverage this summer regarding the demos, the price, the ecosystem we are building. And I hope you're excited. Um, it's, it's still, you know, we're, we're still having customers on the business, you know, on the B2B side. And now we 
intend to go on the consumer side because there won't be another headset at this price point, at this kind of price point, except for Facebook. And I also want to state that I don't want to live in that future where VR is, you know, where virtual reality is Facebook reality, because, you know, the, it's not the kind of future we want. I, I'm not talking about the hardware. I mean, some of the products are out, out there are amazing, but more on the privacy side of things on the open ecosystem. Uh, I, I don't see a lot of good things happening. And this is also why I wanted to pivot the project to something that is also consumer uh, facing. Uh, so it's a, it's a huge bet. It's, a, it's definitely a huge bet, much bigger than a headset designed for businesses. Um, because again, the implications are, you know, are, are very, uh, difficult to to tackle for uh, as a company, uh, but we're we're seeing great support from um, a, a lot of people. Um, so the, the 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 thing down down the line is that people that pre-ordered the headset before, uh, the headsets changed. It's not the same as what we advertised in February 2020. It's it's not you know it's the, it's not the same hardware. We we changed the we changed the design. We changed what the product is doing, uh, we change many things. So the the thing we're going to do in the next few days is going to reimburse the people that pre-order the headset and and give them a, a promo code to, to something that is coming. And it, it's my next uh, announcement. Um, so around that ecosystem building for consumer and businesses, we need a, a lot of uh, effort from us, of course, and we've been working hard for the last two two years and a half now to, to design that headset. And the fastest way for us to bring that to consumer and businesses, especially consumers, and to have it, you know, as fast as possible, I would say uh, right now the target is February 2022. Uh, and I think we can do earlier than that, is that we are going to launch in September a Kickstarter campaign of 30 days. Uh, we're, we're going to show the headset everything it can do, everything it brings to the ecosystem in terms of content, you know, content compatibility, ecosystem, uh, world building in AR or VR, and the, you know, everything you can do with Unity on the headset. Um, so what you are going to see in the next uh, few days, uh, I mean, in the next few weeks this summer, all summer long, we are all working here in this office to show you demos. You remember the video we show online where you could see through the lens of the headset. You're going to see a lot more of that, either in VR or in AR, with the latest new prototypes we are building, you know, with the adjustment of the lens and the hand tracking system. So I can show you some, uh, some of the preview of what we're, you know, going to, to show uh, people. Um, so the headsets looks like that now. So you can see that the only things that change really is the there are more holes at the bottom of the of the product because we have two more cameras for hand tracking and we have two black holes. Those are the LEDs. So we are doing uh, AR fluid illumination on your hands, just like the lip motion system uh, that is no part of uh, Ultralip. And basically, what you have to know is that the product is is complete. Uh, the you know all the design, the, the, the specs, the mechanical design, uh, everything is tested. Uh, I, I can show you, you know, we're, we're beginning to receive even the, the components to, to mass product, to mass produce the, the headsets. So here on my, on, my, on my screen, you can see like, those are some of the displays we, we use to build our, our optical block. Um, and you know, there is a, a huge crisis today, so it's, it's sometimes hard to to have the all the components for the headset so we are building a few prototypes uh this summer enough for us to ship some of them to people that will have a huge impact when uh, trying out the headset and also the other thing we are doing is we're reaching out to developers and uh you know like youtubers and uh, bloggers in ar and vr to you know, uh, fly down to Paris, uh, we make them come here, they will try, they will meet the team. You will see a lot of content in the next few weeks uh, around that. I'm not telling you who is coming, but uh, I'm very excited 
uh, for the answers uh, I had th this week contacting people. And also, you know, for uh, for this Kickstarter campaign, you know, we want to bring something special, uh, you know, in terms of hardware as well. And uh, we are doing this uh, very special edition for the Kickstarter. It will be like a, a little bit more expensive than the the, the base uh, headset. It's the special edition. It 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 will have a fully transparent uh, faceplate and. Um, I really like this object. I really like the, you know, having hardware sh showing how complicated it is inside and how cool it is looking. You know, have have that on your on your head is is kind of cool. Uh, we built some of them actually. Uh, why are we doing that? I can tell you, it's because let me put my camera up again. So we built some of them, you know, with transparent plastic, just you know, to show people uh, how it was inside and. People were more interested in the transparent one than the, the, the base model. So we are going to uh, open also uh, orders for uh, this variation of the of the headset. Um, and the, the last adjustment we made on the design is that the, the back of the headset um, has been redesigned to, to be less uh, bulky, to be less clunky. Uh, so it's just the size of the battery and it should it should be even more uh, comfortable so the the battery is still at the back of the head for the center of uh, gravity of the of the headset for weight distribution are, are on your your head so also just a reminder uh, to everyone uh, right now the demos we are building uh, at links today they are all built with unity but we also are in the process of supporting openxr and also we already have you know OpenGL uh, applications that you can that you can code and, and run it's a uh, android system uh, it's right now on android 10 uh, we expect to update the system in 2022 to the latest android um, and remember you know i was talking about privacy the os of the headset is android but without the google layer so it's it's we're we're building the os uh, as well as the as the sdk and the sdk will be Will be open source so you will be able to um, you know to to customize the the applications i think a lot more than uh, what the others are uh, permitting you to to do um, and we're uh, we are in the process of you know working with um, developers of uh, virtual desktop or sidequest you know we have we have discussions with with people in the ecosystem to to build something around links that could be um, I don't want to say the same as Oculus in terms of scale and, you know, money uh, flowing around, but we want to, to be the, you know, the Euro European mixed reality headset, and we want to be strong in VR and in AR, and I think the version 1 of Lynx is the perfect device to try and see what people can do, uh, and, and I'm very excited, especially in AR, actually, uh, because, you know, if you look at it, uh, has a VR headset. Uh, it's very similar to the HTC Vive Focus or the Oculus uh, Quest. You know, it's the XR2 inside, you have basically the same field of view, but the AR capabilities, especially the way we are doing that with the cameras, I think, I think we are onto something here. And uh, I've been working on that for the last five years now. And I really believe that augmented reality with video, you know, digital pass-through, is the future and you know products like hololens or magic leap you know they didn't really work as advertised right and uh, we are trying to fix that and i think the future of ar is definitely digital digital pass through I instead of optical see through you know like seeing through a, a glass or a, a transparent uh, eyepiece uh, and we are betting a, a lot of that on, on that also on the on the kickstarter just to finish on that and then I'm showing you, uh, so we are, we will have the base model. Uh, I will share the price in a few weeks. Please be patient, but it's going to be huge. Also the transparent one with the, you know, the transparent faceplate will be a little bit more expensive because it's, uh, uh, you know, it will be produced in less volume with a different material and it needs some, uh, some tooling and some work. And also for people that want to support us, but not necessarily by the headset, we are going to uh, publish a book about uh, links and all the adventure and the, 
the work we have done for the last two years, and it's uh, it's been pretty exciting. I think it's a story that needs to be to be to be told to to people, and uh, I, I did not do a great job at uh, at that. Uh, and um, you know, in this book, we'll show you like all the all the process, all the design process. They already started, you know, the designers to to fetch some of the sketches they, they they've been working on. Uh, and we will have a lot of uh, anecdotes and people we we met, and you will have a very good sense of what's happening behind the scenes of AR and VR. And right now, it's a it's a market that is moving really really fast, and it's not it's not the same as the the smartphone market. You know, it's not a mature ecosystem. It's not it, it's brand new, so it's like a big family. Everyone knows everyone, uh, and uh, yeah, there there are some stories that that are really interesting, and I think people. Uh, would love to to hear about that more. Um, so yeah, you will find all that in a Kickstarter. I'm not telling you everything today. I'm just telling you, hey, we're going to do this Kickstarter campaign in September. It's going to be huge. You will see links uh, all summer and definitely a lot is in September. We are hoping to find that that support to the consumer market. I think uh, the price will be a will have a huge impact in that. So I I can't wait to to exchange with you. You know, like the the feedback you will uh, you will give us uh, and the people that will come here are, are will be giving us um and you know also this kickstarter is the best way for us to stay um independent uh, you see if we're if we're taking money from uh investors uh and we did 2 years ago but you know it's it's still my company it's still our project uh, with the employees here um, if we're taking uh, money from investors, you know, the motives can change. And I think they could have too much of an impact about like the mission we have at Lynx because we have the product. But I, I think right now when I see the VR, especially the VR ecosystem, I think we have a mission to, you know, to bring a product that people will love and will not be afraid to put on their head, uh, you know, I think we can all imagine this future where, you know, there are ads on the Facebook headset and, you know, maybe in the future with eye tracking, there is like this full ad, full screen. And when you close your eyes, the the ad will pause. And that's that's just too scary. And, and no one wants that really. Uh, so, yeah, we ran, we ran the numbers and we can definitely bring something very compelling to customers. Thanks to all the partners we have, including, you know, Qualcomm, NVIDIA. Um, yeah, a quick word on that. The headset on day one will be compatible with with uh, Steam VR. Uh, you will be able to plug it to your computer and play all the content you you, you like. And it will be compatible with uh, with uh, third party controllers for people asking because you know we are hand tracking first headset, but of course it will be compatible with some uh, uh, controllers. And you know depending on how the Kickstarter will go, um, we, we might even design our our own. Um, uh, controllers maybe uh, but you know it's it's moving fast uh in a, in a lot of directions but yeah you have to remember that today um and i'm really excited i think we'll we'll publish like every two or three weeks this summer updates uh about the price about delays uh all the pledges you can make on the kickstarter to to have some very very cool hardware and uh and this new mixed reality headset to play with um, I cannot really make other announcements because to, tonight because I would definitely spoil everything. But yeah, their project has, me, has been moving in the right direction. Uh, some things, you know, were delayed or I thought it would be faster, but there are some integration. I would say like the hand tracking, for example, it took us like, it took us a really long time. Uh, some other integration of some technology um, we clearly underestimated how much time it would take. Uh, you have to remember that it's our first product. It's uh, clearly something difficult, but uh, you know what drives us here today is that I also think that people are waiting for something like that. And uh, yeah, that, that really, this is really what drives us uh, all here at, at, at Lynx. And uh, we really can't wait. It's, it's a bit frustrating not to you know, have all the people out there with the with the headset already, but uh, I'm sure it will happen soon enough. So yeah, that that's uh, that's enough for uh, for us uh, today. Uh, I will 
see in the chat if there are some questions. Uh, okay, so Shuki, do we have any questions? Okay, so yeah, I, I have a, another screen, but you, you cannot see it. Uh, so when, where in the, there are already four cameras on the front. So there are, oh, sorry, yeah, there are six cameras at, on, on the front right now, like two for your eyes, the RGB one, the color cameras that are, you know, 64 millimeters apart and they're your eyes and they project back the reality. Uh, they are synced with the display. They have a very high frame rate and we do not do uh, uh, processing on that except for, you know, like pixel correction and, and small stuff like that. So six cameras, two RGB, and four uh, monochromes and two on the visible and two on the infrared. Uh, so yeah, basically the same as this one, but we, we had more, two more AR uh, cameras for hand tracking. Uh, what are you doing for the game side of things? So for the game side of things, first one, we are going to show you a game, a, a few games uh, in the coming weeks running in the headset. So we, you know, games are definitely what drives VR today and AR as well. If you look at things like Pokemon Go, I'm not hitting at anything, but you know, we'll have something very, very close to Pokemon Go to show you. I'm not spoiling anything again, uh, but we're, we'll show you that it's compatible with, with Steam already. Uh, and you know, that's a huge plus. And we are also discussing with developers that want to port their uh, Oculus game to uh, to links the links ecosystem that are anticipating that and we're you know in the SDK of links we are trying to um, you know to to make you uh, able to transfer a, a hololens app or an oculus app to the links uh, SDK and that's not very complicated you know the especially you know for the quest the architecture is quite similar it's uh, it's the xr2 it's also android uh, and in unity it should be really easy to to work with uh, next question, will I be able to see my PC Mac screen floating? Uh, so uh, it's a great question about virtual desktop. Um, so I don't know about immersed VR, but we I discussed very briefly with uh, with Guy, he's the guy developing uh, virtual desktop. And uh, he told me that as soon as we support uh, OpenXR, we are going to work together to have his, uh, his uh, application on the on the links running and a yeah he, he seemed very confident and i'm very confident that this is something that will be even pre-installed uh, in, in links just hope links put effort for unreal engine oh so unreal engine support is definitely coming it's something that will be more uh, enabled i think in beginning of 2022 so you know around the time when we will deliver the we, we will ship the, the headset but yeah it's definitely we're definitely working on that a big motivation for the kickstarter is to pre-sell the product and stay away from more shared deletion and investor pushing the company direction agreed yeah thanks i don't see your name here but thank you yeah that's exactly what we're doing um, can you switch between ar and vr at runtime Yes, and we're going to show you a demo of exactly this kind of feature where you, you, you can, you know, put your head in the VR world and be back in, in AR, you know, in your reality and switching all that, you know, and there are some use cases where you will see your real hands and your real feet in a virtual ecosystem. And we are exactly going to, to show you that uh, in the next few weeks. Yeah. Um, can can people who have already bought get priority access in Kickstarter or something? I would like to somehow hold my place in line. So thank you. Uh, and yes, so as I told you, we're, so the first thing is we're going to reimburse you because as I told you, the, the product changed, the price is not the same. So I'm, we're going to reimburse you. And also in the email you will receive, you will receive like a promo code. You can use that on the Kickstarter to to have a discount on that. So you, you, trust me, you're not going to pay the headset a lot of money if you're already pre-ordered the, the headset. So, hi, you've said Steam VR compatible, also wireless. Yes, yes, uh, it's, uh, so at first it will be working with the USB-C cable, you know, it's, you can plug it here, uh, and then it's going to be wireless. I cannot give you an exact date, but 
uh, we are working with Qualcomm on that. Uh, we already can stream from the PC and now we just have, you know, to do the Steam VR uh, interface with OpenVR. But it's, uh, you know, the hardware is designed for that, definitely. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there are no more questions for tonight. That's, that's great. Um, thank you. Thank you very much for everyone that, that tuned in. The video will be available for a replay and uh, stay tuned because yeah, it's going to be a hot summer for links and uh, a huge bet for the VR and AR ecosystem. So I hope you're as excited as I am and uh, yeah, uh, watch out for uh, what, is, what is coming next. Thank you everyone. Have a, have a nice evening, nice morning, uh, wherever you are and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.